uh, being a black folks and basically we're out in space and this is an old picture but it's not that old okay so basically we are out looking at the sun and this is actual photograph okay from a satellite way out in space now what i'm going to do is you can see right hand corner i'm down 9.99 i'm actually down because i'm going to go up i'm going to zoom in some more i'm going to show you that the actual i'm going to back out and i'm going to show you the fact of what the gray veil that's in front of your eyeballs every day and they hide it there okay and no matter what that's the sun okay and earth is in all of our planetoid objects I'm moving in around basically our what's known to be our solar system okay solar systems are connected okay so there's really no separation from one star which is stars are stars and the sun is a star and there it is okay and it looks like four correct so that idea that when we see that signature a lot of times when I'm looking showing you a lot of the photographs actual photos from out in space now we're gonna go to core data I'm gonna have some core data that basically uh, it's NASA, it's our government money and everything like that, and it's stationed over in Germany where the Lasco 2, I believe I might be stating wrong on the lat, but it is Lasco. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna take us back out so that you can see that we're at the sun. I'll even stop halfway out. There we go. Okay. And then what I'm gonna show you is how they mask it because basically a lot of times when you see it on uh on the internet or certain p pictures and deals you'll s a lot of times sometimes they'll hide it and say that it's art okay this isn't art okay and I'm gonna minus all the way out of that but I'm not gonna get rid of our magnifier I'm gonna move our magnifier over out of the way okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plop out to like uh, 400 real fast you see how it starts looking like art it's not art okay because I'll pump in fast at 999 It's not art. It's actually what we were sucked in on just a second ago. I'll go up and I'm going to go to another photo too. And then I'll show you what we're going to do. is that This is a good one where basically, and then I'll come in. And as you can see, that's exactly what we were pumped up a, a little bit ago. And I keep pumping in. And then you're going to see that that's the sun, okay? So now I'll pump out slowly. And you'll realize that this is not art. Okay, it's actually a picture. So you got to kind of watch them a lot of time and zoom in on them and you'll know and see NASA is going to be scrambling like a bunch of little chicken poopers because they've been hiding this stuff for a long time. Now what we were is in on this shot here where we're showing you Alpha, Alpha Centauri B, which is a star. Okay, and there's also A and then there's BB and then basically uh, I can zoom in on this. We'll get into like 400 and you're going to see that basically this is an actual photograph. Okay. They can take, so since the satellite's so far away from the supergiant star of Alpha Centauri B, which there's a ton of supergiant stars, there's over a hundred of them that are the brightest stars that we know of, human-wise, that we've ever found so far, okay? So see, this is basically, yes, ladies and gentlemen, a planet up, and there's way more than one, and basically this should be Centauri BB, okay? Alpha Centauri BB. And basically, I didn't even go. See, I, I, I screwed anybody on. Super, and basically, I've got supervisor control and data acquisition pretty much in a garbage can right now. Okay. So, basically, as you can see, that there is star belt out there. Okay. And it's not just around the, that planet. Okay. And basically, I'll go down and we'll get rid of the 999 magnifier. Okay. And then we'll basically just trick somebody okay so basically I can only scoot around so much but as you can see out in space there's a lot of planetoid objects dead old stars that are huge okay and also planetoid objects that have star clusters around them and I'm going to be able to show you uh, that this actually exists Okay, that's there, that planet's there. Okay, those are stars, it's not artwork, okay? And basically what it is is stars out in space glimmering and basically stars from all in the super giants, okay? Because there's stars bigger than Rigel B and everything like that and I'll zoom out and actually I'll pump back in and get in real fast while we're here so you realize that stars glimmer and I'm going to be able to show you in the next video 
stars glimmering on the ISS station and on the moon, okay? Of recent, just recently photographed from the ground from Earth, and you'll see that this all matches up. You see stars from the supergiants, which basically Rigel, I'll zoom out real fast, which Rigel, Alpha Centauri B, which is up in Rigel and everything like that, ground Rigel, Alpha Centauri A, these are supergiant stars, and this is actual, factual, same photo that I was in, and I'll go back, I'll go back up, we'll go back up, I'll pop up to uh, 200, boom, and then I'm going to take you another shot, and then hurry up and get the core data in, and then I'll try to get the, the, the being able to see the stars glimmering, because see, those are just stars glimmering on this, and it makes you think that it's fake artwork, but it's not, it's actual photograph, and I'm going to give you a shot here in a few minutes, too, of the Milky Way galaxy, and you'll see that we actually have we a uh, copy machine. I'm not going to advertise for anything, but I could say Xerox. It doesn't really matter. I could say Nokia. You can say any any copier machine in the world. Basically, we do have where they take an actual not pixel photograph, which these are pixel photographs, but they also actually take photographs and Xerox them like a colored copy back down to Earth. And basically, I'm an expert on communications, and it's bounce. It's bing, 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 bounce, bounce, bounce off satellite, satellite, satellite. And that's how we do it. That's how they do it, and that's how NASA does it to get the signal from out in space, massive distances, millions and millions of miles. And I'll take you to, and as you can see, that's where we're at. This, this is all a real photograph, okay? So now we're going to actually factually get down and go ahead and take a look at some NASA data real fast. Now remember folks, I recently showed you this from Core 5 and you can see the meatball and everything like that and I'm going to show you some meatball and you've probably got an angle of a meatball here meatball here and there's massive distances, okay? We're talking trillions of miles, okay? From superstar to superstar super giant star, okay? And I'm going to show you real fast, get the uh, white out in here that I've already showed and I'm not, I just basically have to show you what something I found on some data here in a second We're going to see it white out here, okay? You're going to see it white out. That's the big CME that we had that was basically 360 degrees pretty much, okay? It's going to white out here in a second down here. I don't. Th I think I can just let it play. And you're going to see it white out. And what it is is basically a bling-bling star to a star, super giant star to super giant star. And you can see the, the meatball here. You can see that uh, shadow there. When I come back, I can go back anywhere. And you can see the meatball. You can see the edge of the meatball there out there, okay? You can see the edge of the meatball out there, and there's all kinds of meatballs. What they are, super giant stars, way the hell off in space. Also, dead meatballs that basically are dead stars, which I kind of basically, with Alpha Centauri that I was just showing you a few minutes ago, okay, and basically, you know, I zoom in on the Healy viewer there, but basically out in space, we got core. Now, I have to use a magnifier for, uh, let me go ahead and uh, get it situated here. We got, I'm just saving some tape time and we're going to zoom in and we're going to see these. I'll make, I had a video that I made a long time ago. And when you get into so far, you you lose what you're seeing for an image on. But I'm, I've got them queued up here in certain spots. You see how we were seeing this energy? These are super giant stars way out in the place. Now the, these dates start back on like the uh, 2012, 1206, okay? Because on the 6th of last year is where they froze up and they didn't let us see anything anymore, okay? And the 5th. Okay, so then I finally went in and was able to get us, this is from uh, the 8th, 2012, 12.08, okay, supergiant out in energy coming to, this is the sun here, and this is some of the supergiant stars way the heck out in space, and I can blow in on that one there real fast, get you up there in those energy rings that you see there, and I've showed you basically the energy ring that we've seen off the sun, basically the magnetical statical uh, connection and then you, it's and you can basically see this pretty good from farther out just basically showing you the data shots So as we go through here, I'll basically I'm going in a line. This is the seventh. Okay, I ha might have a little bit of utter order, but uh, This is the eighth again, okay, and then uh, Froze at different times to be able to then this is the ninth Okay, and now what's what's unique is we're gonna get we're gonna see pretty much somewhat of something that happened on the uh, back on the because the freshest thing I've got I got to pop through these real fast so that you can see that these are constant images that we have this is on from the 10th and I'll give you I think the the 11th of December of last year 2012 okay and then I went ahead because there's a hell of a lot of data now you see that we have three of them here 
because I'll get the magnifier out of the way here, move it out of the way, and you'll actually see that there's basically in some other shots, I think I can even play through this one here, I can go, uh, but you can see that there's a star here, and you can see a little bit of up here, that, and I think I can go to some other shots. There's a huge one here and here, and see that this is from, uh, you got, this is core A ahead and core B behind, okay? So it's different shots of these, and there's more than one, there's actually, because you're going to see two in here, and I'll be able to, I think, play that one. What, you, what was unique is I found this shot on the uh, 11th, okay, this is 2013 111. Now the 12th is the freshest that I've got for footage, and I can play through that real fast like this. And then I'm going to show you some more of, and I apologize about, matter of fact, I got a solution for that real fast. Let me stop the tape and uh, you should be able to see the dress in the, the date and the date in the in the in the dress line up there. It's the 12th, okay, of this year, and it's the first month, okay, because basically I've got 2013-01-12. That's as fresh as we got from Core, and basically I'm just gonna basically hit play and kind of try to, and basically that's the freshest. So basically right now, uh, but see we're two months later, so it's we don't know what we have for right now for the energy that we've been seeing through all the data, okay, this is what was on that date, and then this, and then there is more than one. I think I can play with this one real fast and get you to realize, and it's better off to look at it from, from out farther away, and it's basically at the, at the first, I gotta get it, hang on, <clears throat> come on, play, and then, okay, we're gonna hit play, and you're gonna you gotta play around with it you, you gotta play because they're not totally in, in perfect sync and I was able to get those energy rings of the magnetical here off of the B side on the left you can you could see them in a second now hang on I gotta get it queued up just right and you can see a little bit of the energy off of the off the right, off of A, at the very end. I think I can get that back in again a little bit. You can see that. So anyway, freeze the video and you can see some of that action. I'm trying to get it just right, but no matter what, it's been out there and around the 6th and that's when they started freezing us from being able to see it because we were able to see that there's you know super giants and basically my latest core I froze them in a row and that, that footage from up in Alaska is real too it's super giants so I'm going to take you back to the super giants and show you also a shot way out in the Milky Way okay because all this stuff is real and there's way more than you know there we know there's there's, there's infinite amount of stars in space okay they are suns okay there's way more close to our sun in our solar system, and our solar system is bigger than what we think because basically our solar system doesn't really end. It connects to these other super giants way the heck out there in space, okay? So this energy out there is all real because this is the sun here, and this energy is out there in another super giant. So let me get you, I'll get you to take you to that real, real quick here. Hang on. Now, January 9th this year, that energy is still out there. As you can see here, I got it fro frozen in that frame there, and you can see it from a little bit far away. So that energy and those super giants were still out there. And I showed you in the latest core in the last video. All this data is real except for this is fake and this is fake, okay? It's habitable, and it's not hot terrain. Okay? Real photograph in the future videos will zoom in on this, and that's how close it actually is. There's an actual planet that close to us, okay? Because that's Alpha Centauri. So all the sun, and here's Jupiter, and I'm going to zoom out on this. Jupiter and, the, Jupiter and the Sun still zoomed out. The last image I'll show you will be fake art. Art. This is what they're hiding out, the planet, because basically not no one's doing it, but they're just not wanting you to see that the sun blocks you from seeing this planet. Same size as Earth, a little bit bigger, and then you got the super giants all in a row behind here. Okay? So this is gonna be a map, map, fake, okay? Map, map, real. And we'll have tons more on this in the future, and we'll be zooming in. I'm going to teach you the difference between real photos 
They've been lying to you about Pluto and the last shot is going to be the fake shot. Otherwise, all this stuff is real and it's out there. That's fake.